Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at an Ahsoka Disney Plus series that is currently in the early stages of development. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. I have spoken. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding Star Wars Coffee for the first time, be sure to always hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell. And don't forget to check out Star Wars Coffee on Twitter and Twitch, and don't forget to check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise. Links are in the description below. Do it! And now let's go to a galaxy far, far away. This is the way. Ahsoka has been getting a lot of attention in the Star Wars community as of late. Number one for the fact that Rosario Dawson has been cast as Ahsoka, which has led to a bit of a divide between fans who prefer Ashley Eckstein and wanted her to be the live action representation of the character as well, and those who wanted a more recognizable big star like Rosario Dawson to play the live action version of Ahsoka. But also beyond the fact of the Ahsoka and the Mandalorian casting news, Ahsoka's currently having her arc in this final season of The Clone Wars. These current four episode arc is going to be focusing on her. The first four were the Bad Batch, the second four are Ahsoka, and the third four are Anakin and Obi-Wan. And with that being the case, we're going to take a look at some more Ahsoka news that's been currently making the rounds. And this comes from Jeremy Conrad over at Star Wars Unity, who we've been taking a look at some of his work before. He currently has a piece about the Ahsoka TV series that we've been talking about for the last few days currently in development and he has some more information on it. It says quote, live action Ahsoka Tano series being planned in very early development. Recently it was confirmed that Ahsoka Tano would be making her live action debut in the second season of The Mandalorian and Rosario Dawson has been cast as the fan favorite character from The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. If everything goes to plan, her appearance in the second season of The Mandalorian won't be the only time we see the character in live action. According to a source who has been 100% accurate when it comes to the Disney Plus series, they are planning on spinning off Ahsoka into a live action season following the season 2 of The Mandalorian finale. But it's in very, very early stages of development. It is not known how this will connect to or affect the rumored animated Rebels sequel series that's currently in development. Back in February, Bob Iger hinted to investors on their earnings call that they would be spinning off characters from The Mandalorian and giving them their own series. The priority in the next few years is television, with The Mandalorian Season 2 coming in October, and then more coming from The Mandalorian thereafter, including the possibility of infusing it with more characters and possibly of taking those characters in their own direction in terms of a series. When the Ahsoka news hit recently, more fans wondered if she could get her own series, and this seems to fit in with what Bob Iger was hinting at back during the earnings call. But again, as this is apparently very early stages of development, it could be quite some time before we hear anything more about it. And this makes a lot of sense. So that's the end of the piece from Jeremy Conrad over at Star Wars Unity. He is very right on the fact that this could be the last we hear of it from a while. It was kind of the same thing with the Star Wars Rebel sequel series. Once we heard that that was in development, we got some few sparse details, and then nothing. It's been kind of dead for about a month now. The same thing was true of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. We were hearing rumors throughout the last few years, and then all of a sudden we heard at D23 the announcement, followed by not much else thereafter, with a few potential plots, a few potential plot leaks, and a couple of castings. But other than that, we haven't really heard anything. So this does seem to fit the motif of what we should expect from a series that's in very early stages of development. Now that uh, Kenobi is being reworked as well as the Cassian show both being reworked in terms of their scripts, what we would normally expect in terms of a leak cycle is more leaks at this point with scripts being done, filming being uh, begun is when you would typically find the most leaks for a series like this. And same with films, you know, when the Rise of Skywalker is filming, a lot more leaks. So until these things actually start shooting, expect details to be few and far between. But if you guys paid attention to, um, you know, uh, about a month or two ago when we talked about the IgerCon call, which is what he's talking about in the earnings report, we just call, I'm just calling it IgerCon. Um, this really does fit with what Bob Iger was saying about introducing characters into The Mandalorian to introduce them to the audience that they currently have for The Mandalorian to give them their own spinoff show, which makes a lot of sense. I know um, 
it was expected that when I made that video, I was thinking more of Cara Dune in that aspect, but now with this casting of Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano in The Mandalorian, this makes a lot more sense that she would be the first one to be given her spinoff, if not both of them. But again, we won't know anything concrete until Ahsoka makes her appearance in The Mandalorian, sees how the fans react, and then Disney and Lucasfilm will make their decision at that point. But that's what I have for you guys today. In very early stages of development is an Ahsoka Tano series on Disney+. And I can't say that I am shocked at all. I fully expected this at some point. I just didn't expect this to be so early. But given the fact that Ahsoka is such a fan favorite character, she already has her own following as opposed to Cara Dune and the Din Djarin and they were all new characters. But Ahsoka's been around for 12 years at this point, so she's got her own good following of fans. So I would see it would make no sense for them to not just greenlight the series, knowing that fans are going to watch it regardless just because of the character. Alright, that wraps things up for me here in this video. What do you guys think about this? What do you want to see? What time period? Let me know with a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you, and the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.